three. Good day, Hollywood Times viewer. Today, we have the pleasure to welcome back a talented singer-songwriter, Jonas Myron. How are you doing, Jonas? We haven't spoken till, since August. How have you been? Right. Hey, Judy. It's so nice to see you again. Thanks for having me. Greetings from Sweden. <gasps> no way. You're in Sweden? How did you get to Sweden? I am in Sweden. It's a miracle. I haven't been here to see my family for <laughs> over a year, and um, I was able to get through last minute. Um, so I'm so grateful. Oh my gosh, how was the travel? Was it hectic? The travel was hectic. I was worried that I was like, I hope they're going to let us through. And right now I'm actually in, um, in a hotel. I'm in quarantine. Um, so this is perfect for me. I got to have a little quarantine friend, Jody from Hollywood Times. This is perfect for me. Yay! Yay. Some activities in my... Quarantine. I'm actually staying here in an old castle. Um, I had a friend of mine... He said, like, Jonas, it looks like you're in Disneyland. I'm like, no, this is a real castle, you know, because these, <laughs> um, these are hundreds and hundreds of years old, these castles here in Sweden. Do you know how, what's the name of the one you're in? Yeah, it's called, um, uh, well, now it's a hotel, so it's like, it's, it's the hotel name, but it was used to call, like, the the Guardian. That was the name oh. of the castle. It's, wow. It's, yeah. Oh, how cool, how exciting. Yeah, I see the background there. You've got some really cool stuff and... Yeah. That's neat. So how long will you have to stay there before you can see your family? Five days. So, and I've been oh. here a couple of days. So. But we've been doing walks in the days and outside, keeping our yeah. social distance. <laughs> it's going to be nice to be able to move into mommy's again. Isn't it something that you have to like, you are able to fly there and then you're quarantined, like you're like kind of stuck there, you know, to make sure everybody's safe. So different, right? It is so different. And actually here in Sweden, no one is wearing masks. So I've been kind of shocked. I'm the only one here in the hotel walking. For example, if I'm going to um, breakfast, for example, uh, I'm the only one wearing a mask, which is bizarre. I guess out here, they took like a, a different type of policy. So this was more a self-induced um, uh, quarantine because I felt I wanted to just stay safe for my, before I see my mom, et cetera. So. Yeah, that must be different to be there and, and not have people in masks. It must be like, okay, what am I, the, an alien? <laughs> I know, it's so weird because I feel like in Los Angeles, we've been really like super strict on the mask thing, which I think has been great because I think it's also about uh, protecting each other and, and really looking out for each other. Well, I know the last time we talked, it was back in August and we were talking about your single, Not Alone. And uh, how has that been going for you since then? Oh, Judy, it's been amazing. I have had the most, honestly, the most encouraging, even though it's been a really tough time, obviously, but I've had an incredible couple of months. Just uh, these songs that I've put out since we spoke um, have traveled around the world and uh, they've given a ton of people hope and um, just some faith in this hard time and that is to me the mission of music and that is what I love music so much that it can really help people and it can inspire and uplift um, and connect us. Yeah, let's talk about, I understand you had a USO holiday special with yeah. Edina Menzel. We'll get that, that name right. Well done, you got that. <laughs> let's talk about how amazing that must have been. Oh, it was amazing. It was awesome. It was a Thursday night. Uh, for the USO, so for all the troops, um, American troops around the world, and uh, Idina, who is just a phenomenal, phenomenal artist, but also a great friend, um, I wrote at this table for her last Christmas album, and so we got to perform that together, and then Idina heard my Christmas single, uh, Just a Breath Away, from the Three Wise Men movie, and she said, Jonas, could you perform this on my holiday special? And I said, of course, for you, anything. So um, it was beautiful. And she actually sang it with me. And um, we stripped away all the production. And it was just the two of us and me on the piano. And it was a really heartfelt moment, you know, thinking about all these incredible, um, faithful um, service people around the world uh, who cannot be with the families this Christmas. And that is kind of what Just a Breath, uh, Noel, mm -hmm. is about. Where did you guys tape it? Did you tape it uh, here in the States or over there? Yeah, we did it in Los Angeles and we had a, um, uh, at a sound studio. 
Um, and it was obviously super strict. We did COVID tests every day. And so it was super safe. It felt really, it felt they were great production and, and just such, such a privilege to work with the USO. Uh, how can our viewers uh, see it? Are we able to see it somewhere? Absolutely. Uh, there's actually a link on the Jonas Myron Instagram. So if you um, click on going to my feed or on my Facebook, there's actually uh, a post uh, of the full performance there. Oh, awesome. Hey, listen, folks, I've seen it and it's so, it's, it makes you cry in a great way, you know? <laughs> it Thank touched you. my heart. I'm so it's really glad. good. I'm so glad. No, it was, it was really a heartfelt moment because this, obviously this was before I got to see my family and, and the song is talking about that love and hope and the people you love, they're just a breath away and we can close our eyes and we can see them inside of us and, and we carry them with us wherever we go, right? And yeah. that, that is the, um, the spirit of Christmas and that is the hope of Christmas. And um, it doesn't matter where we are, we can look to the stars and we can know that we're not on our own. And um, so it was uh, quite an emotional moment for us singing that, um, you know, to all the men and women out there who are not with their families. And I've been getting messages from around the world going, Jonas, I was crying and thank you so yeah. much for song and playing it on repeat. So uh, it's been a great honor. Yeah, it, it was amazing. I'm glad you're able to do that because it is it is sad, you know, for them that they can't come home and and it's not been because of COVID. It's just because how it is in the military, you know, a lot of families aren't together because of, of that. So. That was great for you to share that with them. Oh, thank you, Judy. You know, I, um, I, before I sang the song, I, I said that I can only imagine how you're missing your families because I haven't seen my own family either uh, for almost a year. But the reality is that your families are missing you the same way as you're missing them. Yeah. And I thought so it was, was meant for you to sing it to them. Yeah, it really felt, it felt like it was kind of a, an incredible like for such a time as this kind yeah. of moment so have you had time to uh write anything else what have you been doing since august um since august i have been uh, it's been crazy actually i've been doing um <laughs> three videos um you saw the one in the desert yeah uh, for gotcha. not alone and then we released a version a stockholm symphony version of <gasps> not alone it was a bonus um a single bonus track uh, of this of Not Alone but with Stockholm Symphony Orchestra and it was just such an honor to collaborate with them and uh, we actually did and I got to co-direct the video uh, which was um, different I wanted to do a video with different strangers all um, singing the song from their perspective and um, it was just it was really special we we filmed it obviously we have to do it in in social distance style, so it was one by one, and and it was very emotional having some. The oldest lady, she was in her eighties in the video, and then we had a five year old kid, and they all had learned the words perfectly to the song, and they stood against a, just a beautiful backdrop and just sang the song from their heart. And um, you're not alone, even when you're sinking like a stone, um, when you're standing on the corners of the road, I'll never let you go. And it was the lyric came alive to me in a new way, seeing them singing it back, you know, to me. And you can find that on YouTube as well. It's called Not Alone, Stockholm Symphony Version. Oh, I'll make sure I put a link in my article because we want to make sure we see that. Oh my goodness. And then Sounds did, amazing. And then we did a music video for Just a Breath Away, which is my Christmas single. And um, that is, ended up happening this summer, actually. Um, I got a phone call from my friend Eric, who works um, in Nashville with, he's a, at a media company and film company. And he goes, Jonas, there is this beautiful, beautiful Christmas film from the directors behind The Grinch and Secret Lives of Pets. Uh, and he goes, I would love um, to see if you have any ideas for an end title song for the film. And I said, can you send me um, a screener? And he sent me a screener and I saw this Christmas film in June, I mean, this was like in the middle of Los Angeles heat. You know, you can imagine, I was like <laughs> looking at <laughs> right. it was crazy. Pull the curtains, I'm trying to get into the Christmas spirit. Uh, and I just was so touched by this story 
Um, it's called The Three Wise Men. And it's, you get to, it's an animation and you get to follow the three wise men on their journey to find Jesus. And it's um, the most told in the most beautiful way because it's told from their perspective. And I had never seen the nativity story told from the perspective of the wise men who right. were you know, astrologists. And they actually found the child through the stars. And I thought it's an amazing, amazing perspective on, on the story that we all know so well, uh, the story of Christmas. And um, I just saw the film and I felt I have the song in my heart. And that day I finished Just a Breath Away, the song, and I sent it in. I did a, a super rough demo and I sent it in to, uh, to Eric and the guys. And I'm like, I have no idea if they're gonna like this or not, but. The next day I had an email back saying, Jonas, this is the one. Um, the directors loved it. And uh, this is the end title and the theme song of the film. So I had to go straight back into production and we finished it. And um, it came out in November. And uh, so it's been nonstop from like Not Alone straight into this Christmas song, but it's been so much, so much fun. And then to get to do the performance with Adina last week, um, performing it was just, you know, a perfect full circle of this year. Oh my goodness. Wow. You have been busy. We'll make sure that uh, everyone has a chance to view all that, especially the, the movie. It's going to be amazing. Animated. Yeah, it's a gorgeous film. It's the perfect, it's the perfect like Christmas special. Andy Griffith is the narrator of the movie and he, he is just phenomenal. Um, he's obviously not with us anymore, but he did, he recorded his narration before he passed and it's, it's all told in rhyme. Um, and beautifully, beautifully narrated by him. And, and it's, I recommend it for everyone who just wants to gather for half an hour with the kids and is available to stream on Amazon Prime. Uh, so you can watch it there. And um, my song, Just a Breath Away is closest to the whole film, so. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. So did you bring some really cool uh, Christmas gifts for your family from America? I did. You did know, you? It, I mean, I tell you what, the Christmas gifts that they appreciate is not, you know, it's not the really fancy stuff, you know, what they love, which is like, it's hilarious. They love stuff like American seasoning from like Trader Joe's. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, That's awesome. like the all, like the bagel seasoning. I think it's called all bagels, something like that. Um, <laughs> so, I've got that and I've got um, some, some other kind of good little spices. I've got some, some American candy. I've got, um, yeah, some just fun treats, you know? So it's, it's gonna be really fun. I've got some- oh, What American candies do they like that they can't get there? Um, I just got a little, a little mix of just some yeah. fun classics, you know? Uh, to be honest, Swedish candy is really good. So it's, it's hard I know. To, it's hard to beat Swedish candy, but I just thought I'm just gonna do a little a mishmash of yeah. everything. Have you tried sweet candy? Have you tried the real Swedish fish? Uh, yes, I have. I had a friend who went there and brought some. So you'll have to bring me back a care package, Jonas. I know, I'll do it. I'll definitely bring you some, Judy. The real Swedish fish is actually way better than the one we have in America. Although I like the American one too, but, but the one we have in Sweden, they're actually bigger and they, are, they come in lots of different colors. And so they're different flavors not just the pink right. or purple. So it's a good one. Well, I'll look forward to that. Definitely. And green chocolate too. Oh, the best chocolate. <gasps> it's so yummy. Do you, like, do you like licorice? Yes. Yeah, we have this incredible licorice. And there's actually a licorice chocolate, which is super, I know it sounds strange, but it's so good. So uh -oh. I might bring you some of that. Fit that in your luggage. Sneak I'll it over here. <laughs> so when are you coming home next year? I'm coming home next year. Uh, I'm here for two and a half weeks. So oh, how wonderful. I'm, I'm going to celebrate New Year's here as well. And and uh, my town, Odebro, is actually a really beautiful, beautiful town with these ca medieval castles that oh. are just absolutely gorgeous. Like, feel like you walk. I showed a picture of... Um, the big castle in the city for our friend and i can actually show you here so you can just see it um and 
And they they said like, Jonas, this looks like Disneyland. I said, well, it's actually not Disneyland. This is, you know, here you can see it. Oh my gosh, so spoiled. That's yeah, beautiful. This like Thanks for sharing. Middle of the city. And then I can show you actually where I'm staying, which is another castle that looks like this. Um, um, so <laughs> that doesn't even it? look real. I know. I know. And this is just Sweden, guys. So I recommend for all you who haven't been, you're listening to this, you haven't been to Sweden, welcome. Come, I would say come in summer uh, because in summer it's absolutely gorgeous and it's not as cold as now. Um, <laughs> but it's all right, that's on my bucket list. Oh, Judy, you have to come. I will, I will hook you up with all the best places to go. Woohoo, I have a Jonas tour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's great. Oh my goodness. So did you, um, did you, what did you ask Santa for, for Christmas? Um, to be honest, a hug from mommy is all I want for Christmas, to be honest, because I haven't been able to, to squeeze her for a whole year. And so <sighs> as soon as this quarantine is done, on Christmas day, I'm going to give mommy the longest hug ever. And that is, there's nothing like um, being together with your family for Christmas. You know, that's, to me, that is, that's the gift of Christmas. It's that's going to be the longest hug in history. It will be. It will be. Um, you know, that's it's such a, Christmas for me is a time of, of just gratefulness as well. And just gratitude uh, that we have each other and that we're healthy. And, and, um, and to a time to look forward to as well for to create new dreams and look to the future. And I feel especially throughout this year, I think it's been a really tough year for a lot of us yeah. uh, and a lo lonely year for me being living alone in Los Angeles, having my family out here in, in Sweden has been, it's been a really tough few months. Um, so I just feel so grateful that I get, get to come home and really I'm going to squeeze out every minute I can. I, I think there's a new song coming from this visit. Yeah, that'd be cool, right? You need to write a, new, a song about this. Maybe it's called Home. Right? Home. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, something about home. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. And, and that long hug. You got to somehow yeah. put that in there. Exactly. <laughs> home is where the hugs are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Goodness. Do you have anything else to share with us, Jonas? Um, yeah, I'm just, I think next year is going to be a really great year. I'm releasing a new single on Valentine's Day next year. And uh, I can't reveal the title yet, but it's it's a song about love. That's all I can say. And oh my goodness! So we'll be talking before Valentine's Day again. Yes. Next and, year. Uh, yeah, and I'm I've been I've been actually longing to put this song out there. It's it's a really special song to my heart, and um, just really felt that we need for next year. We just need some. We need to come back to the to the heart and to each other and and to love. And th that's what this song is about. Great. And the one that you're going to write here with your mom, uh, we'll have that one for Mother's Day, right? Let's do that oh, for Mother's Day. Jenny, uh, we, have the whole, we have the whole schedule plan here. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, well, it's so good to see you. Love that smile. Thanks for sharing. I will uh, make sure all the viewers will hear all about all your stuff that you've been doing and what's coming we look forward to valentine's day the new song yeah can we be to see it and we have a beautiful video as well for you guys for it now it's, oh, that'd it's be great really well you enjoy your time there enjoy your family um we'll miss you here in america thank you so much we'll see you next year. wishing you merry christmas with your loved ones and just thank you for always supporting us and being part of the journey it's so yes i love it so great to see you again and uh, stay safe and uh, definitely happy new year as well you too happy new year you take care thank you